Nashville, Justin Sumter glides across the fieldhouse turf, flashes a set of bright yellow gloves and snares a football from the air. He pulls the pigskin into his powerful, 6-foot-3 frame and explodes upfield, smiling and pointing on his way to what would be the end zone. Sumter, a wide receiver out of Kennesaw State, it is running roots at Boost Fit Club in Nashville, Tennessee, the same city that will host the 2019 NFL Draft in late April. He's here training every day. Today he's doing positional drills with a group of pass catchers, a pair of quarterbacks and a coach. That's his routine every Tuesday, Thursday, while Monday, Wednesday, Friday workouts focus on speed and weights. Constantly training for the upcoming challenge, Sumter is not unlike the characters of his favorite anime series, Dragon Ball Z. The 22-year-old draft prospect claims that he models himself after the show's main character, Goku, who is known for his unmatched strength, discipline and perseverance. Similar to Goku's Super Saiyan form, Sumter says he has an extra gear that takes his game to the next level. That's kind of what it is, Sumter told 247 Sports in a one-on-one -on -one interview before his recent workout. I feel like I can turn into a Super Saiyan when I need to out there on the field. When I feel like the team really needs something, I can just tap into that instinct and go out there and make a big play for the team. The jovial and soft-spoken receiver isn't just talking a big game. He has the highlight reel to back up his words. In a win over Liberty during his junior season, Sumter made a one-handed touchdown catch that was the no. One play on ESPN Sports Center's Top 10 in October of 2017. NFL draft prospect Justin Sumter at Sumpton underscore just underscore in made this popping TD catch for at Kennesaw CFB, featured on. This highlight generated a ton of attention for both Sumter and Kennesaw State, which launched its football program during Sumter's freshman season and had won back-to-back -back Big South championships by the end of his senior season. Despite the spike in publicity surrounding Sumter and the program, the former Owl was not invited to this year's NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. That's why Sumter is spending the next two months in Nashville, training as rigorously as Goku did in the hyperbolic time chamber during the Cell Saga. The odds may be stacked against Sumter, yet he remains positive and confident that he will hear his name called in the NFL Draft this spring. It's funny that I'm training here in Nashville, and the draft is going to be here, Sumter said. I kind of feel like that might play a little part in it. Sumter, who was an unranked recruit with only a few offers coming out of high school in Georgia, definitely looks the part today and was recently named a standout at the College Gridiron Showcase. Scouts, executives from 31 of the 32 NFL franchises were in attendance at this year's showcase in Fort Worth, Texas, and Sumter met with many of them. Slowly but surely, his draft buzz is building. Doubters will look past Sumter's NFL physique and point to his pedestrian receiving totals from college, which were the result of Kennesaw State's triple option offense. As a big-bodied receiver on the outside, his primary duties were to keep the defense honest and run block. For instance, Chandler Burks, who was Sumter's quarterback for most of his time at KSU, recorded nearly 200 more rush attempts, 608 than pass attempts, 416, during his collegiate career. That just shows my selflessness, Sumter said of his role at KSU. Put the team first, do whatever it takes for us to get the win. It's not always about having the ball in your hands to make plays. Sometimes you gotta make your body take out a defender for the running back to run up the sideline to get a touchdown. Because to me, six points is six points, no matter who scores it. It's gonna go to the same team. As long as we win at the end of the day, that's fine with me. Although Sumter's opportunities to make plays with the ball in his hands were limited with the Owls, he usually made the most of them. He averaged nearly 18 yards per reception over the course of four seasons, and 21 of his 111 career receptions went for touchdowns, 19%. 
Sumter, who takes just as much pride in his pancake blocks as his touchdown catches, will have to prove that he can be a more productive pass catcher at the professional level. In some ways, however, he will be like a breath of fresh air. After all, the most productive player in the NFL at his position, Antonio Brown, is currently revolting against the Pittsburgh Steelers and appears to be winning his battle. General managers should see that and be hungrier than ever for the imperiled team-first mentality Sumter possesses. Sumter may not have the Goddish stats or the combine invite to make him a top draft prospect, but neither did New England Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman coming out of college at Kent State. Now, nearly 10 years after he was selected in the seventh round of the 2009 NFL Draft, Edelman ranks second behind just Hall of Famer Jerry Rice for career postseason receiving yards, 1,412, and is one of only seven receivers in NFL history to be named Super Bowl MVP. Edelman is never mentioned in the same conversation as Brown or Beckham or Julio Jones for best receiver in the NFL, yet he is the perfect example of how hard work and an extreme will to win can lift an individual to the pinnacle of the sport. Sumter is a similar underdog who could, one day, outshine the current stars of his draft class. It's not always the big-name guys who make the plays all the time, Sumter said. I feel like that's a guy like me, not really known going into the draft. Just a small school guy trying to go out here and make a name for himself, putting in the work. Just like everybody else, throughout the Dragon Ball Z series, Goku is often overmatched but always finds a way to defeat his more powerful opponents, now, it's Sumter's turn to go Super Saiyan.